Buenos dias from the hotel zone here in the city of Cancun. I'm not filming much here, I'm just gonna like quickly show you what it's like. Because in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, we're going to we're going away from the city to like the local beaches. So we're gonna make a video there, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what it's like. This is player chat mode and I wasn't expecting this, it's actually really beautiful. There's only there's not that much seaweed, which is normal, who cares? The sea's super blue. It's like, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it's really like the shade, there's so many different shades of blue. It looks really nice. Leash is in there soon, I'm gonna get in in a second, but we, we've, we've picked a really rough day, as you can see. You know, it's not the, the calmest of oceans, but it's still beautiful. And this beach seems to be really quiet. We're here in the morning, but yeah. It's not really our thing, hotel zones and this type of fancy thing, but you can just get the bus from town for 12 pesos, so why not check it out? It'd be rude not to. Very pleasantly surprised. So I'll probably just take a quick dip and then see you in the other side of Cancun at the local beaches. So yeah, but let's get in. Make sure my stuff don't blow off. Well, you can feel it, it's pull it, so it's pulling in and then it's pulling out there like a mini like rip or whatever. It's really nice, isn't it? Oh, a little bit chilly, but nothing, nothing for us English. Oh, yeah, he's telling people be careful. Yeah, so there must be strong currents, people must get. Well, you can feel you can actually feel it dragging you. So yeah, a lot of people must get into accidents. Super nice though. Nice little surprise. But it's so bright, the sun's beaming down, everything's white and like turquoise on like a mall, I can't see. Let's enjoy the day. Adios, ciao, buen dia. Come to this little stand for breakfast. We've got some cochinita tacos. We've not actually had them before in Mexico yet, believe it or not. It's a, like a, re a specialty from the south region. They look super good. We've got two different types, like this original and like a. I should explain them to you, but I can't remember what she said fully. We've got this pure, she said puro habanero, so it's pure mashed habanero. It looks hot, it looks tasty. So yeah, and she's like cut the tortilla and put it in the middle to double wrap it. It's funny, isn't it? I'll try the normal one. They're only 20 pesos each. Super good breakfast. Just found it by the side of the road. La Quequencita is the name. So if you're in Cancun, check it out. Just seen this taco de canasta spot on the side of the road. And it's rude to say no in it. 
look really busy with local people so we got an especial Amy which is like cactus, potato and beef and then what's this one again? Mulle Verde. Verde. So wax themselves on them. Let's try the cactus one. 16 pesos, they're quite expensive but they're big. really good. We're leaving Mexico soon, but I love it now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is pretty good actually. Oh yes. That's really good. It's like a really, it's like it's really fresh. And we got a tamarindo juice. Which is a staple in Mexico. It's in the middle of like a four-way junction. It's quite good. Not the best type of canasta. Is it not? Well, oh, no, not for me, but they'll do the job. They're alright. I don't mean they don't feel like this greasy. No, no, they're usually like really greasy and sloppy, like juicy. They're alright. Down. We just need to find the other one to get us to the port. I like this off of this thing. nice little market area though, isn't it? Look at this. I like this. Parque Crucero. Gracias. Gracias. Buen día. Gracias. So we're here, we've come for the day to play El Nino, yeah, near the ports it's like a local beach, like a Mexican beach, not the hotel zone, the Americanized hotel zone, it should be a bit different. The area we've just been driving through actually looked really cool, it was like a, just like a residential area, you can see how the people live in Cancun, the real people. And yeah, the sea's a lot calmer here than than the hotel zone yesterday anyway. Yeah, so it's crazy down there because that, that's where the boats go to Isla Mujeres. Obviously we're not going there, it's very expensive. Not really our cup of tea. Trying to sell us towards through the bus Yeah, window. through the window. <laughs> it was crazy down there, so hopefully. But we'll just see what's down here, we'll take a look. But it, so far it seems quiet. A few palm trees. The water looks really blue, especially out there. You can see like oh, the deeper water. It's like crystal blue. So, so yeah, just thinks a bit of sewers, but. <laughs> Chilling it. It is time, isn't it? Bit of seaweed. It is what it is. So we're near the port, as you can see. The water isn't as clear. There's a hotel, in fact it's like nowhere near, it's like quite murky. But we'll chill out. Have some beers. See what it's about. Where do you want to sit? For free? Yeah. Surely. Yeah, ask him. I don't know. Nah, it must be free. If it is, that's good. So there's like little umbrellas that you can sit under for free. 
far. <laughs> At least there's a digging up the bottom over there. At least we got shared. That's how we relax. Oh yeah, look at that fresh Nieves. <laughs> Go on, show everyone what we got. Hits. People might say it tastes like expensive water, but it was the only. It's the only one they had. The only one they had. <laughs> Check it out. Look at the size the of that. Saying, no glass lad on the beach. I'm like, shit. It's actually yeah. a super whale. One point two liters. That's legendary, that isn't it? They didn't have Pacifico. Pacifico is the best beer in Mexico, in my opinion. I do also like to catch It's still nice. Pacifico is king. Let's get this super well cracked. came over and took a picture of our bottle and told her this glass is prohibited on the beach so we need to get rid of it now. There's only one solution. But then he walked off. Down it, down it, down it. Oi, oi, oi. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her win. Drink one and a half litres of beer in 10 seconds. I don't actually think he gives a shit, he just took a picture and walked off, but we'll make the man happy. <laughs> Finished? Uh -huh. Hope he's happy now. It's actually a really nice beach then. When we first got it, I thought it looked a bit shit, but. But it's actually super nice, it's really chill. Like it's peaceful, there's not much noise. The sea's super flat. There's beach vendors, which I didn't see in the hotels on, so that's good. Now we can get drinks, snacks, breads. <laughs> Music on beach. Don't know what they're digging is though, I'm gonna have to ask them why they're digging a massive hole in the middle. I'm really confused why the man came over. And then it's what I know. I don't think he really gets I think he's just doing his job in here. He, he has to do his job, he's gotta tell us. Oh the guy, what's he got? I can hear him shouting. Oh that's well, let's see what he's got. Oh yeah, his beach is super nice. It's a nice change from the hotel zone to be honest. What's he shouting? Well, I'll go and have a look at What's he got? What's he got? 
Nigerian? Kiwis? No, I didn't say kiwis, did I? <laughs> ¿Qué tiene? ¿Qué es eso? Son kiwis. ¿Qué? Ah, ¿qué es? Like, ¿Como emp empanada, no? Eh, ajá. Sí. Es de trigo. ¿Es wheat? ¿Wheat? Trigo. Okay. ¿Es con carne o...? ¿Con queso? Ah, ¿cuánto Natural. Cuesta? Para una. ¿Con queso? Natural. Sí, sí eh, queso. Por favor. No, Lleva chavo. una ensalada. Sí, todo lo... ¿Salsa? Sí. Sí, me, gusta, me gusta pica mucho. Okay. ¿Qué cuesta eso? Este, estos están en 25 pesos. Sí. sí. ¿Este como gordita? Son gorditas, sí. Y los otros son empanadas. Tengo empanadas de pollo, queso y carne. Ah, oh, wow. Looks quite interesting. Sí, es que se open y se en verdad. Salsa. Tienes sí, cambio. ¡Mande! Son cinco pasos de cambio. Ajá. Ahí está. Dos. Permítame ver ese. Muchas gracias. Buen día. Okay. Adiós. Está todo el sand everywhere. Es interesante, ¿no? I've never seen this before. I've never seen this. Let's have a look at it. It's got like pitch black here, we can't see all. Can I try it? Like a carrot. <laughs> like a carrot <laughs> slash falafel, like it's stuffed it with red onion and, and like a load of red salsa. Gracias. Yeah. It's spilling yeah. everywhere. <laughs> What's it called? Kiwi. Oh. Kiwi kiwis. What do you think? The only thing that I've ever heard is like a falafel. Really? Super crunchy falafel, yeah. It looks interesting. But then I do like this in the middle. Oh, it's cheese. Like trying to yeah, cheese. it's cheese. It's queso. Mm. So something with queso or without queso? Interesting. Oh, that's a big mistake. Oh. Sam. It's <laughs> <laughs> alright. It's pretty good beach now. You'll do the job, 25 pesos. It's a cup, I'm gonna run out of money, I didn't bring enough money out. I know, I think I've got about 60 pesos left for the day. That's great. And the bus home. The bus is 20 pesos. Which means we have 40 pesos left for the day. <laughs> Let's see what we can have. Check him out over there. They're all singing along. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the best bit about Mexican beaches. The atmosphere, the people. Just walking over from back, isn't it? I fell asleep and there's loads more people in that. But it's still super nice, chill atmosphere, isn't it? I finally got a friend. I've been after one of these since I've seen one in Acapulco. <laughs> it's like he makes like grasshoppers and roses and stuff. He said, give him whatever. So I'll just give him a little bit of money. That's a hustle, that. The beach men, this hustle. It's a hard job, that. It's a hard job, it's just walking up and down the beach all day with kilos of stuff on your back. It's hard work. Yeah, it's not easy. Let's go for a dip in the sea. Look, everyone's swimming now. Bit of seaweed. If you're one of them people that complains about seaweed, you're a wanker. To expect the beach to be perfect for you so you can take pictures you're a wanker that's not how the beach works it's quite rocky under here Ooh. really nice breeze though you can see over there the hotel's on Stretches all the way around the peninsula there. I think this is better. I'd rather come here and spend my day. 
It's that clean atmosphere, it's not just like lots of foreigners taking pictures of themselves on the beach, spending 20 minutes taking one picture. Everyone's just here for a good time. Look at how everyone, everyone's just having fun. It's not superficial. Is this a rock? Is it like a reef? Seaweed. There's like patches of seaweed under the water too. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's all muddy where I stood. Hola, buenas tardes. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Bueno, mire, arándano. Sí. ¿Qué eh, Sí, es rojo o azul. Rojo. Rojo, es cranberry. Uh -huh. Mira. Deeper than usual, but it wasn't blueberry. I ran down with cranberry. So I've got coconut cranberry and what did I get? Mame, which is like a Mexican fruit. Oh, that's good. like it's gonna piss it down so we're gonna go on spend enough time at the beach now but that beach is well good compared to hotels on a totally different feel if you want like a, a local beach with like a proper atmosphere come here because the hotel beach as nice as the beach is it's really boring I think after five minutes I just want to leave we're there you can stay there all day there's music you can have some drinks, micheladas is well good. Playa del Nino. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Gonna get the combi back to the city centre and go home. We just returned that 1.2 litre bottle of Tecate. We got 10 pesos back, so it was 35 pesos for that giant bottle of beer, which is which is just over a quid. That is mental. Well, good about it. Best thing I bought all trip. What's it called? Rodriguez? Rodriguez. Oh no, his legs are all bent. No, they just push them back in, don't worry. Oh. It's quite impressive. Look at how he does that. No, no, he just like, he's got like a got loads of blades of grass in his back and just weaves them really quick and then sells them. Oh. It's 
it's got a good job. Just as we left there, all these military boys and police boys came rushing down this road to the beach.